like he, that could be a sign he's doing like he's dealing with you because that's the thing like I had like terrifying dreams like my mom had her cut, head cut off like I woke up crying you know I was 13 years old mine are like that too though like if they're not about the end of the, the uh, end of the world they're like vivid of you guys like, remember 9-11 stuff, yeah mm-hmm. all right I'm gonna tell you guys my dream I was eight years old I just moved up from Little Rock Arkansas uh so I had just turned eight years old and uh I was in third grade. This is the only reason why I remember because I seen a giant plane come down. All right, I'm gonna walk you guys through it. It's like a normal day like this. I wake up and it's like when you're little, you wanna go play outside with your friends, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I went outside and there was nobody outside. I was the only one in my dream. And then I walked across the street. I went up to, it's, it's literally across the street. My best friends was across the street. I went in the middle of the road, was looking around. I didn't see anybody. Mm-hmm. And the uh, thing is, I went to their house. I went up to the driveway. I didn't see anyone. I'm, I'm crying. I'm, I'm looking for people. On my way back, walking from the driveway, it's like something grabbed me. I, I got hit with a, like a bucket of straight panic and fear. I look up, and there's a plane coming, and it crashed into, my, into the house. And all I seen was the back end of the plane sticking out of the house. Before I knew it, I was bawling, I was crying, I was, I was just running as fast as I could back to the house, and that's all I remember. I was eight years old. That was 9-11, and I wasn't even, I wasn't even, I didn't even know it, right. but it's in the Bible. When the towers fall, then that's, it's, it's a great slaughter. That's what it speaks of in the Bible. And then, uh, right after I seen that mark in my, in my head, I seen that face, and then when I seen that face, it's matching Revelations 22 and 4. They shall see his face and his name should be in their foreheads. Right after I seen the face in my forehead at that picture I showed you, I was chanting and saying these names with bold and might in my dream. And uh, that uh, confirmed John 17, verse 6. Um, basically, it's the red letteration. Who the sav- uh, it's who they call the Savior talking. Um, he says, I have manifest thy name, meaning his father's name unto to us, those men. Um, I believe that had that mark, um, but he chose us before the, the creation of the world. Yeah. Um, basically, we're kings and prophets, um, and I like to I like to share the whole story because like that was just that first dream when I was little was right. just adding up to the bigger, bigger, bigger picture. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's so heavy now is. Uh, because there's 12 disciples and then one of them is the devil. Like that devil's still here, his seed line's still here, but the most high God's people is still here too. And that's, he's gonna gather us together and we're gonna overcome and we're gonna possess this place forever. And we're gonna, you know, we're never gonna, we're never gonna fall off, you know? Mm-hmm. Immortality is real. Uh, that's the thing, we're, we're, this corruption is, it's like, it's like being dumb almost. Like, so it's like, this is what we have to fight through is, uh, to forget because uh finding nemo uh dory she would always forget she's like i don't want to forget you know and that's how we are we don't want to forget his name the, right. the dreams that we have that scare us to, to believe in these these things like these these people who walk around and build these these temples they do it uh basically so us us who really got the wisdom can see and be like well this, the bible's saying don't do that and the Bible say, well, he's, he broke that down a long time ago, and he's going to rebuild it up. So basically, it's like this testimony, this word, basically, it's, it's just, I don't know if you guys can't believe this. Uh, that's the thing. I heard, this, I heard that voice, you know, his voice. He said, your Bible is your salvation in heaven, and I haven't stopped reading since. I haven't went to a, to a church or a, a pastor only to teach them what they're doing wrong, you know. Because Jeremiah 23 and 13 says that they forgot the most high, that those true names for Satan. That's deep. Because I was praying on the, the names that they go and tell you to pray to. I'm saying don't do that. Because I broke my neck, the hospital turned me away, and for health I was praying on to that name. And it got worse and worse to the point of death. Mm-hmm. And he got me out of that. He showed me, you know... Yeah, he established my goings and founded 
he established my goings and uh, he set me upon a rock, which is his rock, mm -hmm. um, which is this wisdom, this real truth. Mm -hmm. Like nobody's going to hit you on, like at the park and tell you these things, right. you know, nobody's going to, especially at a church, they're not going to tell you these things. Uh, but like this guy right here, okay, I just, I was making a video with him, but that's the thing, he won't, he won't teach you about, you know. What's, what is he doing? What's well, he's got the sign up about Acts 4 and 12, and that's, it's telling you the importance of those, those names, but basically, I was telling them how those new names are going to be manifest to these men in Revelations, and Revelations is only for the 144,000 to to be able to uh, read and understand it with the wisdom and yeah. understanding. But uh, I was telling them that letter J is only 600 years old. It's the youngest letter in the alphabet. So that, I mean, that. all I know is the names are the most important thing. That's why I tell everybody to start. That's all I, I stand stiffly for these names. I don't, I don't waver from any other name because mm -hmm. when, when I was, when I was, you know, I'm okay. still battling the broken okay. neck and stuff. But the thing is, I've been praying onto the God of health, the God of my life. Mm -hmm. And the uh, thing is, I want to I want to be able to share his his deliverance story, you know, with because yeah. what is, you know, break your neck. The hospital turn you away. We live in America where. I mean, everybody's kind of like brought in, but. Now it's, it's getting to that time where that corona thing is scaring the nation. Now they, they only want to take the rich in, you know, yeah. and leave the poor out here. But, hey, uh, there's going to be a big flop, okay, because, like, the poor are never going to leave. So the thing is, the Most High is going to build up the outcast of our people and set us up to be those leaders that, you know, we that yeah, the world really needs. You could, you could feel it. I mean, but that's like... See, and now, all right, for, all right, so from everything from education, from what we wear to what we eat and drink, it's been defiled by these heathens, by these devils. So basically, like, basically, like, if you see women wear more pants than dresses, uh, so it's just like, these are the type of things, the alien apparel, he's about to, he's about to judge our people. But he's, that's the thing. He's starting at our people. You know what I mean? We don't know if it's it's coming, it's being undone or being redo. That's why we like to stay in the scriptures because we'll be able to see by these signs like the solar eclipse. Um, that's in the Bible. The, the moon shall not give her light and the sun shall be darkened. So that that, uh, that was another huge prof, uh, prophetic sign uh, before the great and notable day. Um, and it's saying like, See, I, I really feel upset that I, I haven't even pulled out my Bible because you guys could just, I could just be filling you guys up with nonsense, but I pray that you guys know that I'm not. Uh, yeah, that's, but, uh, 